Jolene wanted to take her old yellow gold wedding set and update it to white gold. After spending some time together, she helped us design something that would really be outstanding and truly one of a kind. We basically had to make two separate rings and then fuse them together. Here, we're preparing the settings to be welded together. The welding is done under 15 power magnification using a laser welder. There it is. Once the settings are tack welded in place, we need to solder them securely together. We coat them with a mixture of boric acid and alcohol to prevent the metal from turning pink under the intense heat. Here we are applying the solder and making sure it flows in between the settings. Now it's time to cut grooves called seats in the settings. The shape of this tool matches the shape of the bottom of the diamond so it can sit in place. Just making sure the diamond fits. Before we actually set the diamonds, we want to polish all the places we won't be able to reach once the diamonds are in place. And now, it's time to set them. The finishing touch on this first ring is to smooth and shape all the prongs so they won't catch on anything. Now we're shifting gears to the second ring. Step one, set the princess cut diamonds in their settings. We're using a tiny jackhammer here to move gold over the top and keep the diamond in place. We bought a wide tapered band for this second part of the project and we're going to drill and cut openings the shape of the princess cut diamonds. Jolene wanted these diamonds set low, but we couldn't set them directly into the band because they would have stuck through and cut her finger. So we set them in bezels, and then we'll set the bezels down in the ring as low as possible. Now that all the heads are in place, we can properly tighten all these beautiful princess cut diamonds. This is a nerve wracking process. If I slip just a little bit, or push just a little too hard, this diamond is toast. At least I get to use the jackhammer again. Little round diamonds will be set between the princess cuts. But first, we'll make sure to polish every nook and cranny. Now, 
Now it's time to grind down the excess gold from the bezels that are sticking through the ring. Setting the round diamonds down into the band takes time. First, we drill a hole the shape of the bottom of the diamond. We lay the diamond in there and use what's called a burnishing tool to move gold around the entire top of the diamond. We can't actually show the procedure because it's done at such a close range that my big head is in the way of the camera. Back to smoothing out sharp edges and shaping everything so it's just right. This is called an adjustable shank. It's a great solution when your ring spins. We'll replace the bottom of your ring with this and it'll open large enough to get over the knuckle and close down snug behind the knuckle. Other stores sell them too, but ours comes with a lifetime warranty because of all the work we do here in the laser. We're actually strengthening all six weak spots. I don't know any other store that does that Here's the first ring we made. We cut a notch in the side to fit the second. We've welded them together and cut off the bottoms so we can add that awesome adjustable shank. We want the ring to be as wide as possible, as far down as possible. So, we're using a technique here called tongue and groove. We want it to fit together like a puzzle when we're done. See how far this opens to go over the knuckle? Then we can close it snugly behind the knuckle. It really is a terrific idea. Time to show off our masterpiece. Jolene's diamonds really steal the show. But after all that hard work, drum roll please. Another happy customer at Golden Art Jewelers.